Welcome to Home, Hometown Happenings. I'm Carol McCarthy for TV3 and I'm here with uh, Nick Green today and another special guest we'll be talking to in a moment. Uh, we're here to talk about a new book on uh, the bookshelves uh, in bookstores now um, and uh, some a project that actually Nick has been involved in um, closely. Yeah, I wrote a few, uh, few pages in it. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're talking about the violence of action, a story of the U.S. Army Rangers and uh, Nick here you actually I wrote page uh, 121 through 126. I was in the 3rd Ranger Battalion from uh, uh, 2001 to 2005. I'm here uh, from here in Detroit Lakes. I was born and raised. My family's been here for many years, many generations. So uh, uh, I basically left home, joined the Army, uh, made it to... Uh, first I was in... Uh, uh, you join up as a, a standard infantryman, then become a paratrooper, then go through Ranger indoctrination, become a Ranger. Mm -hmm. I went to the 3rd Ranger Battalion, and then from there I went, uh, in 2002 I was in Afghanistan, 2003 and 2004 I was in Iraq, then 2004 again in Afghanistan, so okay. did three combat tours with the U.S. Army Rangers. And uh, the story of my Iraq deployment uh, when I was on Team Baghdad is on page 121 through 126 in this book. Okay specifically. So. All right, and you actually uh, became acquainted with author Marty Scovlin, who yep. we are going to talk to today. Um, and now, did he contact you as he was writing this book? How did that work? Um, I first met Marty actually on a, a veteran business owner conference on our way to go meet former President Bush. <laughs> it makes us sound important saying that. <laughs> so, uh, but no, I can't, Marty and I were from the same unit. And we hit it off immediately because we we're, we're both former U.S. Army Rangers, have that in common. The Ranger community is very small. There's only 1,800 to 2,500 at any given moment. Uh, goes up and down, but uh, a real small insular community. So uh, if uh, you're from that unit, you're going to no have a friend or two in common, uh, no matter what era you're from, it seems, because it's a, a real small, close-knit type community. So we, we all kind of know each other. All right. Okay. So, so um, obviously, uh, Marty was talk talked to you about this project, this book yeah. that ultimately turned into a book, um, and you became involved and wrote uh, uh, a few pages uh, yeah. in the book. Um, and now you're here. You've brought Marty to our, our Detroit yeah. Lakes community. Uh, the book is just newly published, I believe. Uh, came out in September or October yeah. of this year of 2014. Actually, this is now 2015. Yeah. Um, so here we are talking about this today and. And your experience now coming back home, I mean, I'm sure it's quite a culture shock. It is. After mm -hmm. you've been in the military, there's always a, a huge, uh, huge change that you go through and uh, adapting to civilian life. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Marty's a partner, actually, and one of the co-authors of this book is writing, just wrote a book about that, too, on assimilation. Mm -hmm. So, okay. But, uh, yeah, it just, it, it, for uh, the historical standpoint, it, I felt, too, I was real honored to be part of this project and that... Uh, to me, it's real important that our story is out there and that our story is told. Since uh, as Rangers, we were kind of front and center for a lot of the, a lot of uh, things that happened throughout this global war on terror. And for his, history and posterity's sake, I'd, uh, it's important that our story is told. Mm -hmm. Very feel, important. So. And Nick Green is here with me on TV3 today for Hometown Happenings. And uh, Nick, uh, I appreciate you uh, connecting us here uh, with Marty and, and the book and your experience. And we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have Marty Scovlin, Scovlin up next on Hometown Happenings. Welcome back to Hometown Happenings. Carol McCarthy here now with Marty Scovlin. He is an author. He's the author of uh, Violence of Action, the untold stories of the 75th Ranger Regiment on the War on Terror. Uh, we just heard from Nick Green, who, in fact, was a Ranger. Yes. And you also yeah, were a Ranger. Yeah, I, um, uh, I served in 1st Ranger Battalion okay. from 2006 to 2010. Okay. Uh, Marty, first off, I wanted you to talk about, uh, it's in your introduction, mm -hmm. all about what a Ranger is. And Nick said it's a very small group of actual actually yeah. uh, um, the 75th guys. Ranger Regiment is uh, the United States military's premier special operations direct action raid force uh, I know it's a little bit of a mouthful but basically the whole premise of the unit and their job is to go after uh, the most dangerous bad guys uh, that are out there and the most high value targets uh, whether that be uh, key buildings terrain or people mm -hmm. and uh, for the majority of the war on terror it was going after those key people that were uh, you know, very important to the enemy infrastructure. So. All right, and on rescue missions as well. Yeah, we've done a few rescue missions. Or uh, you know, the unit has. Uh, we've, you know, everything from getting 
you know, really bad guys to things like seizing Haditha Dam in Iraq, mm -hmm. um, which was a very uh, big deal. So there's, yeah, a lot of a lot of things, and a lot of things that a lot of people won't find out about for years. Right, uh, and such we're finding out with World War II vets yes. uh, involved in projects now, getting their stories, you know, from decades. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is a very important piece of work that you've done here, um, bringing this into. Um, light uh, some of the stories, the untold stories, mm -hmm. um, you know, the things that soldiers go through. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of things in here. I, I say in there that it is the tip of the iceberg, and I really believe that. Um, th there's a lot of things that we won't be able to talk about for a while, but there are things in here uh, from everything from, you know, the Jessica Lynch rescue mission mm -hmm. to uh, Haditha Dam uh, and some things that are more recent, um, like uh, the Team Merrill operations in Afghanistan in 2010, which was the deadliest year in the War on Terror. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so there's, uh, yeah, it's a very important book, and I think it's really important that not, you know, veterans in general, but Rangers specifically, you know, kind of get their story out there and make sure that their piece of history is recorded. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's kind of a healing process for some, too. Uh, a lot of the writers that, you know, we had a well, you know, around 40 people involved in making this, um, you know, a reality. And a lot of them, you know, I spent hours on the phone with them working through some of these stories and, and making sure that they were told accurately and, and that sort of thing. And, you know, all the feedback I got from a lot of them that this was their, really their first time ever putting pen to paper or, um, you know, telling their story really. The biggest thing was that wow, I really feel better after writing this. You know, that was for some of them. Mm -hmm. You know, others I didn't get that feedback necessarily. Maybe it was that way for them or not. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. But there was more than a few of them that said it was really cathartic and uh, really something. Uh, some of them are now writing their own books to expand on their stories that were briefly touched on in here. Mm -hmm. So all right, uh, Marty Scoblin is here with me today, and he's the author of uh, Violence and of Action, and it's in local bookstores. You can pick it up. Um, just out this year, I mean, newly published. Yeah, October. So, uh, but you are, you're known internationally. Uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, are, yeah. you are, like Nick was saying, you are a veteran businessman, a yeah. business owner. <clears throat> I do run it. I, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm like David Hasselhoff. I'm big in Europe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I was recently on the cover of a Norwegian magazine uh -huh. um, that is, uh, it's a men's magazine throughout Europe. And we did a trip that raised money for uh, veterans' uh, transition issues that led us into Europe, actually, mm -hmm. um, this last summer. So, yeah, we've done quite a few things over there, and um, I don't know if I would call me international, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you are internationally known. You're in a, you're in a documentary as well. Uh, working on it. That uh, was working actually, on it. Yeah, the documentary was actually shot on that fundraiser okay. that we did. We started in Denver with nothing but backpacks and $100, and the right. challenge was to see how far we could get with just that in 21 right. days, and we made it all the way to the Italian-Slovenian border and raised about $25,000 for oh. the Gallant View. So, yeah, but that, that there's a documentary being done on that. Okay, so. okay, so very cool, and it's, a, it's great that you've come to our town here and your connection with Nick yeah. and uh, promoting this book. It's a very, a very interesting book, a very interesting piece of work, and uh, a very important piece of work uh, for this if, time in history. If history isn't uh, written down, it's forgotten. Mm -hmm. You know, after we're all dead and ga gone, uh, you know, the written word is the only thing that will survive through generations and through time. So uh, just as, you know, the men who fought at Thermopylae have their stories still being told today, I hope that the, the GWAT Rangers are, have their story being told you know, years and years and years after we pass. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a group of uh, soldiers that I did not know about until this book. So thank yeah. you for, for doing that and uh, for yeah. coming to it's, visit. It's a story worth telling. Mm -hmm. All right, well, pick it up today uh, in the local bookstore. It's Violence of Action. And I want to thank Marty uh, Scovlin and also Nick Green for appearing here on Hometown Happenings on TV3. I'm Carol McCarthy.